A Jabba the Hutt movie directed by the award-winning writer and director Guillermo del Toro was nearly created six years ago, and now rumors of this project are resurfacing. Everyone's favorite giant green slug was almost given his own solo film. It would follow his rise and fall from power in the underworld of Star Wars. And I know that sounds incredible, so why did this not happen? And more importantly, is it still going to happen? Stick around till the end of this video to see what really went down behind the scenes and to see how a Del Toro directed and written Jabba the Hutt movie would have changed everything in projects that Disney Star Wars would have gone on to make. So smash a like on this video and let's break this all down. Guillermo del Toro directs Jabba, a Star Wars story. Damn, what a missed opportunity. Okay, I get it. This sounds like a joke, but I'm being 100% honest with you guys. This was a thing. And del Toro himself just confirmed this recently in an interview with Collider. So Guillermo del Toro is an award-winning director and writer for his films The Shape of Water, Pan's Labyrinth, Pacific Rim, and even Hellboy. So with him directing and the main character being Jabba the Hutt, who needs no introduction, but I'll give him one anyway, Jabba the Hutt is one of the big green slugs that rule over the underworld in Star Wars throughout the prequel trilogy and the original trilogy. He is a member of the Hutt family and rules over the homeworld of Anakin Skywalker, Tatooine. He eventually dies in Return of the Jedi or Episode 6 to Princess Leia who chokes him out with a chain before his remains blow up on his yacht. So yeah, a movie around Jabba the Hutt in the underworld of Star Wars? It would have been a blockbuster hit and made Disney billions upon billions of dollars. But what happened? According to Del Toro himself, he had written a lot of the rise and fall of Jabba the Hutt and was super happy, but this was not his property and not his money to spend. And it is a business, so now he just sees this as good practice. He goes on to say that they designed a great world with great stuff, but it just wasn't meant to be. Now this isn't the first time we've heard about this Jabba the Hutt solo movie project. Early rumors for this movie came from Variety back in 2017 over six years ago. However, back then we didn't know any of this information, we just thought it was just a rumor. Now we know that Del Toro himself had already started writing and had a great story with a lot of great stuff. So what happened? Why didn't Disney take this big name director and this great story that he's written and run with it? Well, six years ago, back in that time frame of 2016, 2017, is when Disney Star Wars made a huge shift in the Star Wars projects they were creating. And all this change was because of one movie, Solo, a Star Wars story. Now, regardless of whether or not you like this movie or not, personally, I actually really enjoyed Solo. This movie was a failure for Disney, big time. It's the only Star Wars movie that they've lost money on. And again, after Solo, I would have loved to see more of that story. And maybe with the rumored Lando movie, we could be seeing more of that story. And if you want to learn all about the updates on that Lando movie, go check out this video I've already done all about Donald Glover and his brother and the updates on the Lando movie. But because of the Solo movie's failure, Disney had to cancel other projects like the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, the Boba Fett movie, and now, apparently, the Jabba the Hutt movie. All those projects were shelved for later dates. And around that same 2016-2017 timeframe, behind the scenes is when Disney Plus was being created. And Disney completely took a shift in 2019 with Rise of Skywalker being the last movie they've created and all of the Star Wars projects have been on Disney Plus since. And those movies that were in production like Obi-Wan and Boba Fett, like I told you earlier, turned into TV shows and got moved to Disney Plus. We've seen the Obi-Wan Kenobi show and now the Book of Boba Fett. So could the Jabba the Hutt solo movie be next? Honestly, a Jabba the Hutt-centered underworld of Star Wars movie or even a show would be amazing. And all of this stuff from the Vanity article from 2017 all the way up till now when Del Toro himself is coming out and talking about it in Collider proves that it was not only considered by Disney, but actually being written by an award-winning director in Guillermo Del Toro. So tell me in the comments section below, would you want to see a Jabba the Hutt-centered show about the underworld of Star Wars sometime between the prequels and the original trilogy? All the crazy characters you could bring in like Han Solo, Lando, Dengar, Boba Fett, and other crazy bounty hunters from Star Wars that we never usually see, they could all be in the Jabba the Hutt underworld show. 
But again, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Smash a like on this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We go live on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So don't miss out on any of that by hitting that subscribe. And if you want more, go check out this video I just did about a canon version of Joris Sabaoth that we saw all the way back in Jedi Fallen Order named Terran Malakos.